See if we can make some stuff happen. 90 guns. This is a light machine gun? Jesus. It doesn't look very light to me. That's that's nobody. Okay. I suppose this is where that light machine gun would come in handy, huh? <sighs> Honestly, that's how you gotta start every video. With me just taking a big ass slurp. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another part of the Outer Worlds, and we're about to ow. <laughs> we're about to enter Edgewater. So, hope you guys are ready. What? I came from uh, over there with Mount Everest. Everest. Hold E to transition to Edgewater. Seems pretty cool. So, so far what I noticed is this does seem like a lot of an open world uh, kind of game. It kind of reminds me of Skyrim. But then with pistols. With lots of pistols. So increasing your inspiration skill improves your something something. I didn't read it in time. Whoa, we got 600 XP from just entering Edgewater. What the fuck? This looks pretty fucking cool. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Alright, so, um... Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are excited, because it's weekend, baby. And another two videos coming out this weekend, and, um... I'm fucking excited to make them. For now, I just want to tell you guys, um... Don't forget to enter the giveaway, which is in part one. If you haven't done so already. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Oh shit, I was taking a sip. You must be the town boss. I'll wait till, until you're finished. You were saying, Miss Hope. It's just, what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just... old. <laughs> sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? That was a row. Um, we can start with the introductions. I'm Puppet Master Wati. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Uh, uniform? What are you talking about? I don't work for Space's Choice. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Um. Yes, so it dawns on me. <laughs> Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Uh, my ship needs repairs. I'm looking for a pirate regulator. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. <laughs> I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Well, that will be convenient. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. <laughs> All There's right. a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Squandered, huh? The geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. All right, so be it. Uh, when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Uh, what a surprise. I never would have guessed. Uh, I don't think these people will take kindly to losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. 
All right. Um, if you want me to solve your deserter problem, I'll charge you by the head. Good lord, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by oh. cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, Reed. I'll see what I can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. A partner. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb. But I cannot deny that she is talented. And may prove useful to you. All right, so be it. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine. And trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you, if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Well, a little, but I'll take it. Companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters to join you in your adventure and help you in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills, plus they increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companions' combat skills with the inspiration skill. Right, so be it. Alright, so as I was saying about the giveaway, uh, if you guys want to make a part... Uh, I can't speak. Alright, so if you guys want to get a part to win the Outer Worlds, uh, all you gotta do is leave a comment down that uh, video. And uh, you can like it too if you like. But um, it will uh, probably not increase your chances, but you know, it would help me greatly as uh, as you guys love me. Alright, so... Um, <laughs> Alright, so be it. Uh, once that video reaches 50 comments, I will um, be picking a winner. How about them apples? How about them apples? All right, so um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue with this game and see what we can make happen. I wonder how many companions we can have. Probably, probably get a few more. All right, so are they going to attack me because they're marauders, or they're going to attack me because they're marauders? Okay. Oh shit! Fuck! Fuck! Oh god! Bomb weave. Boom. Press once to order your companion to attack. Alright, so we can make him tank our shit. I dig that. Alright, so figuring it, I figured out what melee was, by the way, it's it's T. <laughs> In case y'all didn't know. What's this? Oh! A barrel! Get pooped on. What's this? Boom, see you, bitch. Oh, my companion died. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Not the greatest at the game, apparently. But. Jesus, that guy has a lot of health. Oh, I died too! What the fuck? Oh, I'll be a son of a bitch. No, it won't be, but you know, whatever. All right, we're back. Uh, let's go ahead and try that again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm trash. So, guys, I got pretty good news. I uh, bought a car today. Yeah, pretty decent, huh? I bought a Mini Cooper from 2004. Sounds pretty fucking awesome. Don't know if there are any car lovers out there, but uh, Mini Cooper is a pretty fucking awesome ride. Plus, they also put a filter near the exhaust, so it makes a fuck ton of noise as well. <laughs> it makes me feel like a man. Here we go. Ah, they take no damage. Got him! How did that not hit? Oh, you saw that? All 
All right, decent. Huh? huh? I gotta not forget the heal. Oh my god, I died again! This game is hard as fuck! Jesus! Alright, so uh, I kind of figured out how to continue with this, motherfucker. Um, it turns out if you kill them, you loot an assault rifle. I didn't even notice when I did it, but... Um, well, I got it now. <laughs> so, uh, let's continue this, motherfucker. And as you guys can see, that gun is pretty fucking powerful. And I dig powerful, if you feel what I mean, homie. So for now, um, let's continue this motherfucker a bit more up the hill. And I hope we won't die ten times trying to figure out what a gun is. <laughs> Alright, up here. And up here. Botanical lab. Move along, stranger. I don't know you. That's Whatever correct. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Uh, I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reads it's something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, Know that I got my sights on you. Well, so be it. A geo what? Look, plants eat my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Ah, okay. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Okay. Uh, trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? Well, I do, but... No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. <laughs> Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Um, I could always go looking for her. Don't tell me you're scared of a few marauders. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Then why would she do it? Imagine where she's gone. Hail's Search Zoe's place. home for clues. She could be anywhere. Alright, don't worry about it. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Oh, you're welcome, Grace Romero. Romero. I'll tell you what I can. Okay. Uh, any ideas where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Um, uh, you snooped around her room? Ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. <laughs> Maybe the rotters took her? How well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay. She was lazy and thoughtless. But she's still one of our... <laughs> Jesus. All right, maybe the marauders took her okay. away. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I can tell. <laughs> Jesus. What a friend, huh? Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Well, as long as I got my assault gun, we can probably do what it. What is it? Uh, we're gonna fight Adelaide. Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. Alright. So it does look like we got uh, a side mission now. Uh, stranger in a strange lands. Um, no. A few kind spirits. There it is. Uh, let's go and try that one. Might not be too bad to do a little bit of exploring before we go ahead and do the main mission. Oh, that's Adelaide. How do I? Uh, how do I mark this one? Double tap. Okay. Here we go. So now it looks like we gotta go a bit further. Talk to Stefan. Maybe he knows a bit about the girl. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get away? <laughs> Fancy duds. All right. I'm told uh, one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. 
All right, what happened to the days that we disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Corporate fixer? Um. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal, masked marketeer. The cereal, the huh? Of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Well, isn't that cute? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. All right. Uh, was she acting strange before she disappeared? I can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. <laughs> okay, hold on. There was something else. Hey, I got time. I bet. I've got some more questions about Zoe. No. Okay, that was plenty for now. Uh, let's go ahead and check Zoe's house. Oh, that bed looks cozy. I can sleep. Okay, this game is fucking Skyrim on guns. I swear to God. All right. Yeah, I get that, but where's Zoe's house? crib how do i check her closets and stuff like that that's her toilet doesn't look like she has anything here but i sleep for uh seven and a half hours all right well rested i guess go and check this out zoe's gurnal well today's the day zoe's Today is the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the Marauders, Threat, Bands of the Wild, Free Spirit, of bandits living in camps out in the hills, warning themselves by the light of barrel fires, probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning of folk like me, living on a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take the whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adeline's food and I've got some spare cans of some tuna, should last me a couple weeks if I ration. But some Adrena time too. Everybody loves Adrena time. Even Marauders, right? I got the odds that Marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple syringes of Adrena's time before the rise. This is going to be great. Look out, Terror 2. Bannock Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm going to have a whole gang of Marauders at the back of my call. Maybe I can even score some Rezos. I leveled up. Stay sent. You get 10 points every time you level up. That's insane. Let's get a lot of fucking points in that. And some more of the dialogue. Alright guys, if you like it, if I, um... Well, do you like it if I read out the text from the quests? Or do you think it is too much and you just want to read it by yourself? Because then I'm just going to do what I do with the Sunken City. Uh, where I just uh, let you pause the video if you want to read it. Let me know in the comments if you would prefer that. If you even made it this far into the video to begin with. Oh man, what a journey. What a gurney. Alright. The Marauder or not? The fuck is that thing? Oh, you're going down, boy. We Sweet. We did it. Yay. Light machine gun. And we also got this guy. A light machine gun. I'm pretty curious about that. Let's go and switch these up a little bit. And see if we can make some stuff happen. 90 guns. This is a light machine gun? Jesus. It doesn't look very light to me. That's that's nobody. Okay. Here we go. Suppose this is where that light machine gun would come in handy, huh? Does use a fuck ton of bullets. Alright, should probably heal up. Relax, baby girl. 
Fuck, I didn't reload yet. I will. Right in the vitals. Ah, no All right, that should be a fuck ton of loot right there. All right, sweet. That was a bunch of fucking loot. Let's do this. All right, so um, what do you guys been thinking of the game so far? Do you like it? Wow. You crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. <laughs> Teach me your ways. Uh, you're Zoe? Your people have, are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not wow. possibly be less interested in them. I bet. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I'm pretty cool, yeah. I'm great at clarifying. All right, sweet. Are you a prisoner? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? Ah, oh, see? One wit. I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Probably not. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Got that too. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I see. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. All right. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. All right. Persuade 10. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> is that the only I'll thing? I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. I bet. Alright, take care. All right, so let's quickly travel back to um, where the fuck we were at last time and um, <clears throat> finish up this side mission real quick. In the next episode, we're going to be continuing with the main story. Uh, let's go ahead and stick to that for a little bit just to see if we can um, make some stuff happen. If there are any side missions, I'll probably do them off camera, but um, off camera, I didn't even use camera, off screen, off records. Uh, unless you guys would really be interested in seeing those episodes, then, uh, no worries about it. I'll gladly do it. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Uh, she joined up with the Band of Marauders. Zoe joined up with the Band of Marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, <laughs> I've heard stranger things. So be you it. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. That's what I'd like Let me to hear. Know if I can do something for you. Uh, I'm good. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, talk to my girl Adeline next episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.